Uyghurs uh, detained in Thailand have been subjected to deportation uh, back to China. Uh, this is obviously um, a blatant violation of uh, the international human rights law principle of non refoulement also in violation of Thailand's obligation under the Convention Against Torture, to which Thailand is a state party. More than 10 years, not good food, not good condition of living, everything make people sick, and very sick, and you, we also have some case, some sample that uh, five of them in detention center is also dying you know, because of the bad condition. So this side of the thing that uh, happened with the Uyghur in Thailand. You don't have any policy for them, they should not stay there in the IDC. It is not, it is not 10 years already and you don't know where to send them, so they should move to stay in another place. One of the officers also mentioned that because we need good uh, relationship with China and also good economic support by, by China. So we will uh, let these people continue with suffering in the country, chance with the good economic of the countries. Turkey asserted that they were all Turkish nationals and issued documents to that effect. Those documents were not accepted by the Thai court. Thailand, pressure between the two sides, made a very bad decision. Uh, on July 1, 2015, they sent 173 women and children to Turkey. Then a week later on July 8th, the Chinese government sent a plane with the People's Armed Police on board and Thailand handed over 109 men and boys who were handcuffed, they were blindfolded, and they were frog marched onto that plane. 109 returned, repatriated involuntarily back to China. One of 109 people the one who I deal with is my friend, was my friend, disappeared. Not sure what happened. I think that if we're still stuck into our, our paradigm, paradigm about uh, the idea of Uyghur, about this relationship between Thailand and China, I think we could not go anywhere. We're going to go beyond the thing that we have to identify solution. So if the Thai government has a gut to say that this is my country, we're going to identify solution in my own country. No one can penetrate into my sovereignty. So that can go beyond. People who free from danger of armed conflict and repressive policies to seek refuge in other countries are entitled to international protection in accordance with the non refoulement principle. Ten years may not be long for someone living happily with their families, but for some Uyghurs being detained with indefinite period and under very poor living condition has led to a great number of problems and affecting their human rights.